The welcome signs are out in the Grant Park neighborhood. Homeowners like Nancy Mitchell welcome part of a recent trend sweeping neighborhoods all over Metro Atlanta. Along with soaring property values are soaring taxes. I'm worried about the people that can't afford that jump and that have lived in the neighborhood for years and years and years. According to a report by data analysts at Adam, the average property tax bill in Georgia jumped 11 percent between 2020 and 2021. It's one of the biggest jumps in the nation, but not a surprise when you consider that property values in Georgia jumped 43 percent over that same time period. Metro Atlanta's average property tax bill jumped 10 percent between 2020 and 2021, while values increased 42 percent. Emory University business professor Roy Black says as home values pull taxes up, it can be a shock. It's really hurting people who bought their house 10 or 15 years ago and maybe of moderate income and their taxes have doubled or tripled. Fulton County homeowners pay the most in the state. Property tax bills there average a little over $5,000, reflecting an 18% jump in a year's time that doesn't compare to the 46% increase in property values. Black points out that inflation will influence future property tax bills. Everything is going on that's that's pushing the cost of, of government up, and it is perfectly logical to think that the uh, uh, taxes are going to keep going up until we get a handle on, on the expenses. As much as she loves that property values in Grant Park have increased. I don't think it's fair to price people out of their homes. Nancy Mitchell says it's driven property taxes high enough. Listen, I was looking at homes in Grant Park recently, small homes, and the property taxes were like $8,000 a month. Crazy, I get it. And our neighbors just to the north of us are feeling that shock more than we are. According to the data collected by Adam, property values in Tennessee increased 71% between 2020 and 2021, and their property taxes are up about 30%. Whew.